And this has been the story of the traditional games industry for the last like three, four, five years now, is that the smartphone market is encroaching hugely on things like what used to be the Game Boy, which is the, you know, the kid's handheld market. Although it is encouraging to see that Nintendo's 3DS, its handheld console, is still performing pretty well. It really is the Wii U that's the problem for the firm. Uh, what is it do you think that they're going to be able to sell, or they think they can stay to their target and sell 9 million? I mean, have they got some good games coming out, anything like that? I think that uh, the, the next six months is going to be absolutely crucial for Nintendo. Uh, they've got some great games coming out. They've got key franchises like Mario and Zelda returning to the Wii U. They should have come out last year, but the fact that they're coming out this year is a good thing. Unfortunately, they've also got to um, face stiff competition from the new PlayStation and the new Xbox. A lot of people are going to be spending their money on that if they're looking for a new games console. So really, it all hangs on the next six months, I think. And am I right by saying, Keza, that you know, um, uh, Nintendo's been trying to come up with a, another smash hit, but they've kind of stumbled on that. I don't know, you're in the industry. Anything in the pipeline that you guys have been hearing? Obviously, the Wii U's only come out for less than a year at this point. Uh, they're not going to be releasing a new product, a new hardware product, I think, for at least a, a good 18 months, maybe longer. Um, if the Wii U it doesn't pick up, I think it would be sensible to perhaps think about launching a new console rather than trying to you know, flog a dead horse. The fact is, 160,000 units is dismal, really dismal, especially when you consider that of those 160,000, only 10,000 um, were sold in, the Europe, in, in Europe and Australia, which is just unbelievably low.